Sunlight streamed through the high windows of the art classroom, creating long shadows on the desks and easels. Jamie woke up feeling disoriented. They were lying on a desk surrounded by sketch pads and paintbrushes. The last thing Jamie remembered was falling asleep in their own bed, not waking up in an art class. Jamie slowly sat up, their heads still aching from a vivid dream. In the dream, a friendly cafe maid had served them lunch, and the memory left them feeling uneasy. As Jamie looked around the room, the students were absorbed in their work, sketching and chatting with ease. Jamie found this both comforting and unsettling. The teacher, a stern woman with sharp features, stood at the front of the room, holding a paintbrush like a baton. She commanded attention without speaking, and Jamie felt like they didn't belong here. All right, class, the teacher said with authority. Today's project is to explore your deepest fears and desires through art. Draw what you find hidden in your subconscious. Jamie's heart raced. The task seemed oddly specific, and they looked at the blank easel in front of them, feeling trapped. The closed door mocked them with its unyielding presence. Jamie took a deep breath and tried to focus on the blank canvas. They remembered the warmth of the cafe from their dream, but as they dipped the brush into the paint, a chill ran down their spine. It felt like the dream was merging with this strange reality. The door creaked open, and Jamie saw a girl in a dark hoodie enter. She moved quietly to an empty desk at the back, casting nervous glances around. Jamie watched her with growing curiosity, sensing something off about her presence. Jamie's attention shifted back to the teacher, who walked around the room observing the student's work. When her gaze fell on Jamie, there was a flicker of recognition, or something darker. Ah, the teacher said softly, we have a new artist among us. Jamie's breath caught. The teacher's voice carried more than mere curiosity. The class fell silent, thick with unspoken tension. Jamie began to sketch a vague outline of a cafe and a maid. As the image took shape, Jamie felt that this was no ordinary art class, something sinister lurked beneath the surface. The final bell rang, and the students packed up and left. Jamie stayed behind, their heart pounding. The door, slightly ajar, promised escape. Jamie looked back at the teacher, who was watching them intently. With a sense of dread, Jamie packed up and headed for the door. But as they reached for the handle, the room seemed to darken, and a cold draft swept through the door wouldn't open. Jamie turned around, their heart racing. The classroom felt like a cage, the walls closing in. The once innocuous art now seemed like a mirror reflecting a nightmare. What started as a dream was becoming a waking terror, and Jamie was trapped in a world where reality and nightmare blurred. reality.
You have created your own prison, the teacher's voice murmured. You will remain here, forever trapped in the nightmarish art of your own making. Jamie's scream was swallowed by the void as the darkness enveloped them completely. The last flicker of light vanished, leaving Jamie in an endless, unyielding abyss, a place where their fears and nightmares would forever torment them. In the end, the classroom, the art and the teacher had been mere prelude to a much darker fate. Jamie was now a part of the nightmare, a soul lost in a never-ending cycle of terror, where reality and dream had fused into an eternal horror.